All right, guys. Now, you've seen how bad the Purple Gen 8 leans with the shocks. We're going to try a little modification. This is the the, the mountain, like a generic version of the Desert Lizards. This is the spring that goes in that shock. Pretty long. And these are Desert Lizard springs. The only difference is with the Desert Lizards, obviously, is you also get the... Uh, choice of putting in the short one underneath but but together basically you get the, if you had them together you would get the same length almost but not quite but anyway i got all these extra springs from the other shocks about the same strength but i just don't like the way they work that much i'm thinking about just seeing what these do because I thought about cutting these shorter just for the hell of it. So what we're going to do, we're going to put these pretty soft desert lizard springs in the mountain shocks. If they will, well, let's just find out. Will they fit? They'll go in. I don't know if the plunger will jam or anything. We're going to find out. I'll let you know in a second. All right, well, plan B is, I mean, you'll notice these shocks. I mean, they're about the same in the center, but they do taper on the ends. I think the other one's going to catch on the plunger if I use them ones. So, the problem I have is my driver's side is always leaning down like a fat person is the driver. So, I'm going to just go ahead and stretch the springs on the driver's side and see if we can counter that just a little bit and see what happens all right guys so all i did was stretch the springs on one side it feels like it's going to be a little better you know shouldn't get that gangster lean so much from the torque twist for a little while but i probably need to go ahead and put some oil in the other side too because it had leaked out a little bit on the one because i didn't tighten it with actual tools last time i just tightened them best i could but they don't leak bad. I guess we'll get a video going with a comparison on the Desert Lizard shocks versus the knockoff $20 mountain shocks. Little wannabe looking Desert Lizards. So I got them on the Bronco anyway. So these are the real deal ones. I tell you what, they don't do this on that truck. Look at this. Nice and slow. The back is really good like that. It goes way up, way down, like hydraulics. <laughs> so I'm going to say the Desert Lizard will definitely outperform them. But why not give it a try? Be a good comparison video. Well, all right, guys. It's been quite a few days since I've actually did my modification on these shocks here, the mountain shocks. I haven't even tried it since I've done it. So we're going to run it here in a little bit just to see if the torque twist is any better. And all I did was take the internal springs out of the driver's side where it always leaned and stretched them a little bit. That's all I did and put oil in them. You know, topped them off. So... I figure we'll go ahead and test them, see if that little improvement will keep it straight or, or if it's going to be cockeyed all the time because Gen 8 is bad. It, I haven't really found a shock to take care of that. Anytime I get the shock suggested where I like them, it seems like they kind of fizzle out after a while and they go back to leaning. So the Servo and the ESC is better in the Gen 8, in my opinion, than what comes in a stock TRX4. But that's just me, you know. I don't know a lot about these things. I just know what I've got in my past and experience. And I know that that little 25 kg servo is better than what comes in this Bronco originally. So, not how long they last or nothing, but that's enough damn rambling. Let's get busy working on this course. Well, uh, that's as far as I got with the shovel. <laughs> About two scoops. I really didn't feel like doing that right now. Uh, like I say, I have not felt very good. 
So I got my lazy ass on the tractor instead. And I pushed that other dirt pile over here. It's about, we'll say two and a half foot tall. Be nice to just slap a shitload of rocks over top of it or something. But I don't even know why I've done that to be honest. I'll probably regret it later. Uh, that was sure a lot better than digging with the shovel today. As you see, I, ain't, I got my gravel, my uh, driveway is actually pretty smoothed out finally. We will be getting that gravel soon now because I still got a little dip here that gets water in it sometimes, but once the gravel's in, I'll just put the gravel deeper there. But the rest of it's have a lot better than it used to be. So, maybe in the next couple weeks we'll have that done. So, anyway. Don't know how much playing I'll do on this pile here today. I'm just going to go ahead and test out these shocks while I got a chance. Well, alright. Well, as you can see, she does sit a lot more level. She... Used to, I mean, used to when I'd ride, it looked like there was a ton of weight on that. See how it leans when you turn that way? It always did that when you were going straight, though. But when you straighten out, she levels out for the most part. I mean, I think I'm going to just take the whole spring out almost. I mean, or go for a full droop setup somehow. Their generic version of the desert lizard type in my opinion but obviously not as good but then again i don't know it might just be the truck so i'm going to take them desert lizards one day off of the bronco and put them on here and probably put them on my other truck Now this does not have a trail master in it no more. It has the 20 turn axial motor. Tell you what, it used to really lean hard climbing and not so much now. I mean, there's still, you can see it leans a little bit, but nowhere near what it was. I guess if it fell off the other side, at least there's a nice soft pile of dirt under it now. <laughs> Little mountain there. Oops, sorry. Much better though. Ooh, till we do that. I got a feeling my foams are about gone in these tires. There's your little shot of the shocks, in case you forgot. These are Enjora Mountain 
whatever they call them. But hold on, Gilligan. <laughs> I didn't think so. It's pretty, pretty steep right there. You see that 20 turn gives you a little pick up. Ooh. I see you wasn't expecting it to come up at that time. I think I'm only running a 2S in this, but it's got that 20 turn. Oh yeah. Gets it. Shocks are definitely better now. They're not perfect, but better. You go, boy. <laughs> that was pretty good, actually. You got caught on a twig. And as you can see, stretch that driver's side on them springs a little bit and it will make a difference. Still got the nice soft spring. It just keeps that side up from the twist. You get a little twist in the reverse going the other way, but, but I mean, you can still see a little bit of torque twist. Nowhere near what it was. I bet I missed all that. That was a cool jump. Twig holding me. Uh, there we go. <laughs> now I'm just having fun in dirt. I mean, what else is there to do? And we saved it too. These shocks are actually performing pretty well. I mean, I don't like that they're so high. I have the softest spring that comes with the shock. If the other springs stuck it way up in the air, I think I'm going to cut a piece of them springs off. So it's just not a big fan of how high it sits. So let me go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and play with the Bronco just for a minute. See what she'll do in the dirt. All right. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to end this video here. I'm trying to keep them a little shorter. I'll just make another video for the Bronco. Now I have something to post tomorrow. So again, guys, thanks for watching. My views have been coming up. I love it. I never expected it, to be honest. So it's pretty cool. So anyone that wants to know my opinion on these shocks, they are well worth the $20 I paid for them. They're Enjora Mountain Shocks, whatever they are. 
they're not as good as the desert lizards obviously for 20 damn dollars we expect but they are better than the shocks i took off the truck with a little tweaking you can do something with them so I say I might go ahead and do chop a little bit off the length of the spring to get a little bit of a droop and still have some spring in there. But until next time, guys. Peace.